Hi, this is Daniel Daly. This is a blabber video. Um, the ultimate half-life. The ultimate half-life. Now, dead is dead, and as I've explained, once eventually you're going to die in the, the afterlife. It's like this life again, it's just the afterlife. Everyone's going to go through that experience. But God's explained to me that because the A&M naturally thinks that the idea that we'd like we'd like to think that God would care about souls. And because we have natural faith in the idea, there is created a, after the half-life, a half-life. And it's, I had a dream about it, and um, sort of, it's a half-life world. It's like, a, it's like a shadow world. You're, a, you're not really in a physical body quite as much anymore. It's just a spiritual thing. In the afterlife of heaven, you have a you have a body, but ultimately, the half life which you'll get to is it's a half life of sorts. It's a, you can certainly sin in the half life, but it certainly doesn't really matter terribly much. It's just your sarcasm really at play. You're not much of a threat anymore to anyone else in the half-life world, no matter how sarcastic you might like to get. Because they'll chirp up in the end anyway, if you're just a spiritual being who knows how to slag back if you must. So, you know, that's... Take the deluxe package in the here and now, live forever on Earth, is my recommendation. The repentance is worth it to enjoy the fullness of life. Otherwise, if you don't really care, you're destined for a half-life, which is the destiny of man, the fate of the wicked.